What is going on, guys? Welcome back. So, I know a lot of strong opinions have been going on about the recent foodie situation. So, I wanted to come out here and just lay out some facts. Because, you know, I was ignorant myself. When she started to bring up other creators, other communities, Cyrax, Marty, TikTok, Diets, any of the Muslim channels she mentioned, you know, many of us simply cover her. So, in turn, almost by default, we have to mention those topics in passing. So before I get into this, I want to set the scene just a little bit because every reactor is going to have their own interaction. But mine with Chantal started very, very early in one of her first hameos or videos dedicated to creators, we'll call them. She was driving and listening to some music on her playlist of love ballads and dance songs. Somehow, one of my videos came up. And at the time, Chantal had been speaking out against Gary, and the entire community had rallied around Gary and supported him because Natter had went on his second channel, mocked him about his past issues, his childhood trauma, and I felt, and still do, Chantal going back and forth with Natter, her on-again, off-again charges, needed to be taken into consideration when it came to her opinion of those events and that ultimately, Gary was the one impacted by Natter in those videos, and that he had every right to speak out. Chantal's response, I will play for you here. Well, I this is a live stream because I'm not editing this and spending time on this loser. Those of you who know will know who it is. Stupid garlic stale. I just scrolled and pulled over to put something on to listen to. And I see I'm being criticized for the content of my video. Oh, I'm tone deaf oh, on why I, I should be sympathizing with Gary. So so you're going to nitpick what, what I'm not sympathizing with Gary over now? Are you serious? So, so my DV case is not as severe as Gary's disability case. Is that what you're f***ing saying? Suck my ass. Suck my ass. I talked about myself because this is the case pertaining to me. What I've been through is a lot more than what Gary's been through with Natter. So yes, I think if I don't have time like you garlic stale crappy toast to be on everyone's ass on YouTube 24-7. So I did not see what Natter said about poor Gary yet, okay? What I was defending was what I saw about the stupid thing. About the stupid, I don't know, whatever, his own disability, whatever. So I was pointing out that he's a hypocrite for that reason. Now, excuse me for talking about what I find to be appropriate. What am I going to do? Go on and friggin' start playing? Like, oh, I, I, I'm just so dumbfounded that people are, like, shaming me for talking about what I need to talk about. Like, you know, just because I'm not giving more sympathy for the subject I don't even know exists yet. <laughs> I don't just, okay, I heard, I, so, I heard that Natter was shaming D, D, uh, SA victims by shaming Gary whatever. That's all I heard in passing. I'm not the type of hole like you, crusty bread, to fucking just go off whatever I fucking hear. So, until I see the clip and listen to myself and it and give my opinion, I'm not going to do a video on it. So eat shit, okay? What I do know is everything I presented in that video as fact, that's why I did that video, as it pertains to me, because I'm a victim of fucking domestic For you to say that I'm not, or I shouldn't focus on that, I should focus on Gary more than my own fucking domestic case. Fuck you. Now, the reason that's important is for the longest time, Chantal has simply projected, we dislike her. We want her channel removed. All of these things. But the reality is, at least, is that it's her actions that used to make her entertaining to watch. But I think we've gotten to a point where she struggles to find the ability to really entertain people. So she has to resort now to creating drama. And this puts her in these predicaments right out of a Hollywood script. I mean, look no further than the whole FFG BBJ situation. But one thing Chantal loves to do is project about others and try to create this false divide for the viewer so that you take her side. 
her video about me is a prime example. You know, that video was about her, but my video was more about Gary. She wanted to make it about her and her case. Therefore, she had every right to give her opinion and in turn label others as she saw fit, whether that was me, whether that was Gary, whether that was Natter. You see, as a victim in her own mind, this lent power to her words and made her some type of authority on this topic. That things actually started with where she is now if we go all the way back to ALAA and his wife. And at the time, I don't even think I fully understood what was going on, but clearly she was searching for new targets. She was trying to attract more viewers, and she thought that if she could venture out to TikTok, venture out to Islamic channels, she could bring in those creators and create that conflict. And for many of us, we simply assumed they would just ignore her. Now, most of our community at the time had witnessed years of these empty threats, undelivered promises to, quote, take us down. Most of us had YouTube cases that went untouched, privacy claims that she never responded to, all while logging in each day and stuffing her food port and playing the victim and talking about being Muslim. So the day that she found Cyrax, and I don't really know how Cyrax came across her radar, but clearly she would have been better typing Crispy into the McDonald's app than Cyrax into YouTube. But this is where we start to see the issue Chantal was normally doing not go ignored. So understand, for many of us, we've all thought Chantal would have the issue within our community. Okay, one too many false claims, one too many raging live streams, and it's more than likely that Chantal thought this too. She constantly hitched her sympathy wagon and headed for FFG just about every single day about how she was bullied and how she was harassed, but none of us, and I mean this, none of us saw Chantal's continued efforts to find another person to have conflict with would be 100% on her own terms. And I think it's important we understand that. The first thing she did was want sympathy. She wanted to appear in line with Cyrex because she felt that he was being wronged. And because she has been wronged on YouTube by so many people, this is why she felt she had the authority to do so. And in doing this, she went after the people who were responsible, one of those being Marty. So there she sat, wedged in her blue sofa. Chantal stated that they were, quote, worse than him. And because Cyrax had gotten arrested, they were, quote, pieces of crap. With those words, she did something unbeknownst to us that really no other channel had done, which was take a direct stand with Cyrax. And I wanted to go through some screenshots of a Cyrax live stream, kind of attempting to defend himself. And I want you to keep in mind two things. Number one, how Cyrax defers accountability for his issue as, quote, people just want him off the internet, and how this is not his fault because the other parties, quote, pretend to be someone else and entrap him. The context of this video is that Marty and others like him are actually heroes of the internet, and I mean that. If you spend your free time actively trying to remove people from the internet who prey on minors with the intent of turning all of those findings over to law enforcement, you are doing work for the greater good of society, period. Now imagine playing that role. Imagine being the person in part that does that and having someone cite that you're actually, quote, worse than the predator. What response do you feel like this would elicit? Because that is very much what Chantal did. Now in the face of that, Rather than admit she made a mistake, was irresponsible, made an unjustified claim, was being ignorant and judgmental, what did Chantal do? Well, she doubled down. She went on threat-filled live streams, citing it was hunting season. She shamed him for his weight. Salah, who I guess was hiding behind Chantal at this time, invited him to Kuwait. After all, this, make no mistake, was how Chantal had always treated conflict in the girl world community. So it's reasonable to assume that the small little hamster in her brain could only draw this conclusion when it went over to the conflict resolution wheel. So I understand that people have strong opinions about the current climate in the community, but it's important for us to remember a few key parts. First, Chantal brought this on herself. She alone chose to venture outside the community, find someone to sympathize with. 
She then made decisions on how to label others, group others, and chastise them without a full understanding of the situation. And in turn, she ridiculed people that in large part are championed by society. When those impacted parties sought a response from her, Chantal resorted to name-calling, mocking, antagonizing. Then, even when fully aware that her family became involved, she forced her flippers in the air and said she was just fine. She pretended she could file charges while not even being a victim of a crime and actually in another country while everything took place. So while most of us will gladly sit here and give our perspective on what has and what will take place, understand, one person is solely responsible for this situation. Chantal. This is just another of many poor choices that she elects to compound by her own free will and then scream into the void that it is because of her size, her success, or that others are simply jealous of her. I'm going to leave a couple links down, first of which is Cyrex being approached about his text. The other is Marley Hendricks kind of documenting the start of this conflict that really none of us knew would get to this point, but is important for a perspective. I'd recommend you watch them, and while, listen, nothing is going to provide you the full picture of what's going on, I feel like those two videos will give you enough backstory to make an educated opinion on why Chantal should have never stated those things about Marty, and while nobody in our community or any community is ever going to agree with her. Appreciate you watching this video. You know I will be back as soon as I can with more content.